Alright, what is up you guys? And of course always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarinder. And uh, to go up against the Flaming Axel and uh, quite frankly, um, I have a UU team that is maybe not, you know, the meta heaviest. It's just it's for fun basically. I have some ideas what I want to create with it, but at the same time I'm also super aware of that um, there are some picks here they are just here for laughs so they only work if I get the right spot to pull them off and uh, I'll see if my opponent left me do just that so I'm waiting for my opponent to select his Pokemon we'll see what happens also, really fun to actually upload again. I'm realizing that that's something I've kind of struggled to do lately. And um, this is what I do. I do Wi-Fi battles. I really enjoy them. And uh, having a chance to pulling them off like this with good friends is just what I'm all about. So if you want to battle me in the future, make sure to tweet, tweet me on Twitter. Or don't say it here that you want to battle me. I'll be fine. Um, there is one silver lining here, um, just check out my opponents, uh, there is that I actually lack um, a defogger and a rapid spinner. I had it uh, from, from the beginning, but I realized that if I bring that it's going to be uh, you know, your average game and I'm, I'm not looking for that. Um, one thing I realized though, it has no grounded Pokemon, so I lose nothing by actually starting off with a potential Rotom and just Volt Switch from the turn 1. Also, Marodom unfortunately has a Discharge and not Thunderbolt. And that is because of the very, very lazy reason <laughs> that uh, I actually don't have that TM or technical record. Uh, yet to spawn it, haven't necessarily searched for it, I absolutely have the Watts to um, at least grab 10s once you know, I, I see it, but I don't know, kind of messed that up actually. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see what my opponent leads off with. Cappuccino, that is a Chin Chino for sure. Now there are two ways to go about this. Uh, Chin Chino has skill link, and um, if Scarf, that's gonna hurt. Could potentially take me out. So with that in mind, I'm actually gonna switch out, as uh, it shouldn't have anything to uh, hurt my uh, Drawdown or uh, Quetzal with. Uh, there's a tail slap. Um, I mean, it still does fair. Uh, it still does very fair. But the only thing I can do from here is actually start rocks or scare him off. Um, I could hurt him if I want to. It's life orbs, so that's a good thing. So we know we're going to outspeed him uh, with uh, the roll term, so that's a good thing. But we are just gonna do the easy play of self rocks. Right, goes for U turn, it's fair. Do lose a significant chunk of HP though, we really are. I for the life of me can't remember his team. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. The last time I fought uh, Flaming Axel, which was actually in um, oh, Hades. That's, that's a great name for it. Um, last time we battled, I actually lost to him, and that was due to him having a, a Smarter team distribute overall. Um, there's really nothing to it. I think it, I would really, he won 1 0, but I absolutely would say that that game was more tilted towards his favor. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is actually just take a photo on my phone so I can keep up with what mods we are dealing with. Uh, we actually don't have that much long time, but yeah, the way I see it, I really don't have a fair switching towards this at all besides that um, the only merit I have is that he goes for flamethrower uh, we can easily take that also don't have knockoff on my um, Senti Scorch which is wonderful right it goes for blast yeah yep that's that's about it so his switching should be and the thing that should be able to take a hit the thing is here if he's not scarfed then um, Fuck it, I'm gonna go Fire Lash anyway. I have a reason to believe he is Scarf, so Fire Lash makes a ton of sense. Going into Blake. I, I 
I think I'll do fair damage here. I think I'll do quite fair. Who's gonna lower its defenses anyway? A whack! Yeah, it's. Mmm! <laughs> this set, this quote set, is something I kinda was leveling with with the poke game. We'll see if it actually works. But quite, the only thing that's wrong with it is I don't have knockoff. Uh, besides that, it's pretty much what it should have, should have really. Now he lost his defenses, and I know that. Um, so I can keep going for fire lashes, even though I know I cannot put myself in the spot against the Chandelure, but Chandelure can't hurt me anyway. So even if it goes to Chandelure, I don't fear it, as um, I do have Crunch. And while I do really, really wish I had knockoff, I mean, he still can fire blast me or Willow with me or anything like that. Uh, the only thing that goes in his favor is that if he's choice locked, he could go for a trick here. But then again, I'd lose nothing for it and I get a crunch off. But it goes a trick, so we're going to be locked into whatever. We actually have some speed investment in us, so I don't believe it's too bad. And crunch should very well take it out. Yeah, mm, there we go. <laughs> so I'm free to be a scarfed fire lasher if I decide to be that. Uh, the only like really disadvantage here is that if uh, Fallings comes in, which is a very likely thing, um, actually goes to Moonlight. Right. <sighs> there is one issue here. Um, <laughs> there isn't one really. It's like this is gonna hurt no matter what I pull it off. Um, I'm just gonna say that's this. <laughs> the reason this situation gonna suck is because he's gonna get up Stealth Rocks. And that's gonna put me on a timer. You probably didn't want to go lose those. Um, fuck! Like all I was thinking is, you know, oh, now I get him. <laughs> right, gonna go in Stone Jaw. His best play should be Stealth Rocks, and my best play should be yeah. actually whatever, really. But Heavy Slam makes a ton of sense. Um, Stone Jaw is actually. Surprisingly deadly. Um, does it have anything to resist it? More Pico could take a heavy slam on shore. I have no reason going for anything but a heavy slam. So it draws Moonlight. Blake. Alright, that's the Umbreon. I actually think I take this Pokemon out, like, effortlessly. I, I Stone Jaw is just such a frith. <laughs> I love this mon. <laughs> I love this mon so much. Um, but yeah, the issue is I can't take any special attacks, and um, I'm I'm not sure. Like when when Falix comes in, that it's like an issue no matter how it twists and turns things. <clears throat> Like close combat shouldn't take me out anyway, and he's gonna go for that uh, no retreat move for sure. So yeah, my best bet keeps going for heavy slam basically. Um, don't have speed here of fallings really. Goes for heavy slam. Let's see, do I still do all right? I do absolutely all right. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, <laughs> did not expect that. Um, all right, so my scarf God of War should be able to outspeed it, but he's gonna go for close combat, and close combat is close combat. And I'm on Raptor to switch in. Like my only real switch in is. That's the thing though, like with the team I'm dealing with right now, do I need Synthi Scorch? I really don't, and it's scarfs, and I was like, it's gonna make one of those weird things never work. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to uh, I'm gonna sack this. I mean, I clearly can't use it anyway. <laughs> Ooh, it's like the worst way of losing it too. Like Scallopede, or not Scallopede, Synthi Scorch is incredible. There's a close combat, and quite frankly, it's it's it kills me effortlessly. Shit. Well, all right. 
Um, <laughs> right, time to double check this. Like, please tell me I'm timid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I have nothing to worry about. Besides, like, crying internally. Um, <laughs> give me defiance. I am the defiance. <laughs> And don't be dumb and go for Moonblast. Um, so we're gonna knock that out. And um, now his Romanian Pokemon is Clefairy, it's more Peko, and it is uh, Chinchino. Um, it makes most sense for him to bring either Clefable or Chinchino. But I think, yeah, it brings Clefable. <clears throat> and the thing is here, I'm faster in Clefable with Stone Jaw, but can't take any damage from it. And I really don't want to risk it either, because since it is scoffed, it's kinda, kinda is that weird place where it just makes a ton of sense. So I'm actually gonna bring in Ketzel, and uh, it's not because it's gonna help me quite a lot, I just wanna see what moves it has. We know it's Magic God, it could potentially have Cold Mind, I guess. But it won't matter since Heavy Slam Okos it anyway. Uh, Thunder Wave, alright. That's competent, that's a competent play. Day. <laughs> I did not expect that, so I was kind of shit. That's 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 not good. Um, I don't believe more Pico comes in here naturally. Um, <clears throat> it is resisted though, and I actually if if more Pico comes in, I sack it. We'll see what happens. He shouldn't stay in at least, right? He does though, and goes for what Moonblast. We still outspeed it, which is quite impressive. Holy shit! I'm a defensive Duraldon, so that's that's very impressive actually. Alright. I'm still sacking it no matter what, but Jesus. As I did not expect that. We draw Moonlight, goes to more Pico. Makes a ton of sense. Then I go to that hangry mode. And uh, we're gonna go for the flesh cannon. It does alright. The only thing I have kind of against me now is that, yeah, it's gonna get. It's a guaranteed dark move now, and I, it, it wanted 20 base power. It's so. It, it's full of hate and wrath in so many ways that I kind of. You know, I, 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 I'll stay here. I, I need to sack this mom. I have nothing really to, uh, to say here. Or I will, it's just what it is. Got the speed race, which is great for us. Is life for released? Ooh, what do I want to do? Just want to try to knock it out. I mean, more Peko is quite frail, but it does outspeed me right now, which is not a very frustrating. An Aura Spirit resisted, it could potentially carry Crunch. I know nothing of this Pokemon, but I think his best play would be to bring in Clefable. So I'm gonna go for Volt Switch. He goes himself for Volt Switch, so there we go. This is good. This is, no matter how twist and turn things, this is good. This is what we want. Bring Clefairy. I won't stone your two. Nom 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 on that bastard. Mmm, there we have you. And you will be surprised to know that I got you exactly where I wanted you. Even though the play itself was kind of risky. Won't deny that. But stone your comes in. Heavy slam eats you. And you can't moonlight through this. And I don't believe Morpeko really takes a heavy slam here too. It's max max out power after all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me kill you, Raymond. I know you feel it. The time is due. Your dead Clefairy. Thank you for watching. Nom nom on that corpse. 
I don't care what people say. Like I, I've heard that people just flat out say Stone Yard is bad, have no special offense, you know, etc., etc. I agree, but at the same time, Jesus Christ, the damage. It's unreal. Now this Pokemon carries Bullet Seed. So it will knock me out in theory. But also I'll, I'll go knowingly that he most likely will pull that off. And I'll see if I survive Bullet Seed. That could also be as interesting. Let's see. Bullet Seed. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We are good. Like, I can take a few risks here because I'm actually in a spot where... where I don't believe I need to worry all too much. Chinchino is incredible though, like, no matter what I say from here, it's actually one of the better Pokemon in this meta. Um, I'll mostly go for Tail Slap here, so I'm actually going for Volt Switch. Um, it might not make sense here, but ah, yeah, yeah, we take it out, so whatever. There we go. Right, I guess we bring the MVP of this game, which is the Stone Yor. No, we don't, because if it kills me, it kills me. Like, how... More Peko, speed tier. Because if I don't know, I have to bring... I can't find it. Ah, uh, how much time do I have? Can I take an Aura Veal? Do I want to be that guy? I cannot do though. I cannot do though. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pussy. Raymond, if you watch this, I'm sorry. But I realized that that Aura, Aura whatever, is going to absolutely beat my ass. And I, I'm super aware of that. I know more Peko has like a 100 tier speed tier. And even though it's life orb, which means... I'll get to exactly where I want to. Um, I still kind of want to win. Or actually, no. You know what I'll do? I'm a man. <laughs> you clearly are more man. <laughs> all right, all right. I I feel you. You earned this. You earned this death. Stone Yor, you know exactly where you are, and I'm really sorry that I failed to give you a proper nickname. Your real nickname should have been Goliath, but that didn't happen. So Stone Yor, I'm sorry for that, but at least you got to show something nobody wanted to see. And that is that you're actually quite viable. Now, it goes without saying, Raymond here brings a team that is not high, 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 high meta, but it is still interesting. Like, it doesn't matter, like I said before, that, you know, we need to win or lose, something like that. But showcase weird Pokemon to being able to work, yeah, I think it's worth something. I really do. And last time he beat me to a pulp, so I'm happy that... I got the chance. Oh, look at that damage! <laughs> Shit! This is why you don't want to use it, I guess, because the special defense is... Well, not there. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you, of course, for watching this game. I hope you really enjoyed this. And to Raymond, wonderful game. Uh, I mean, I'm super happy you actually brought something a bit more niche. You, you kind of want that. I think you played this game beautifully. But, you know, between Sentry Scorch and... Um, <clears throat> and my two Scarfers, it just, I had a, a small matchup here that actually wasn't my favor. So for that, I'm sorry, but I also really enjoyed this game. So Raymond, good game on you. If everybody's watching, thank you for doing your show. Check out, of course, Raymond on Twitter. He usually is looking for battle, and as you saw here, he does bring very good and interesting stuff. And some of it actually work. Last time we battled, they absolutely did, and I lost. So uh, don't let this game fool you. Um, so that's it for watching. Until you have a great day. Bye, everyone.